Zelenogorsk, my old time favorite town in Chernorus. Great loot, awesome PvP, and loads of interactions. Everything worked just fine in perfect harmony. Epic wins mixed with epic fails, new friendships, and immersive adventures. The capital of the Western lands, surrounded by many other interesting locations. Basically, my Daisy hometown. And like I said, everything worked the way it's supposed to work. Until the greatest public enemy of all times had shown up in the town, along with the snow. We called them the supermarket campers. It was time to save Zelenogorsk, but let's get back right where it all began. Oh, oh, oh! Base raid! I think it's a base raid. Oh, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy. Fully geared, fully geared. What the fuck? How is he still alive? Hey man, hey man. Stop, stop. Well, if I see you with your hands up, you're good. Yeah, yeah, I, I will put my hands up, okay? Okay. I have to bandage myself first, okay? Okay. I'm bandaging, man. Please don't kill me. I'm not killing you, no. You have an arm, Ben. Where are your friends? I don't have friends. Why are you carrying the arm, Ben, then? Some guys gave it to me. I never met them before. His name was Eric. Okay, Eric, drop your shit. Now first drop your shit, then put your hands up. Okay, okay. Don't Listen, Eric. I have a hard time... No, no, my name's not Eric. My name is not Eric, man. Okay, Eric not gave me the, the, the band. Okay, not Eric. Listen, I have a hard time believing you, whether you're alone or not. I don't think you're alone, Eric. Not Eric. I just want to fish. You want to fish? Yeah, I'm a fisherman. Hey, dude. I'm outside. Hello. Hello. What's going on? Not much. You're holding this guy up? Possibly. I found him. What? This could be. This could be Eric. Could be Eric, man. Is that Eric? What can? Uh, let's solve it friendly, okay? Do it before you shoot with your little AK. There. If you want Eric to survive, you have to come here without your gun. I'm not gonna not rob Eric. you, though. I'm. I'm Eric, man. All right, Eric. If you want not Eric to survive. Oh, okay. So that's Eric. So who the fuck is Eric? Me, dude. You're Eric. Who are you? you What's your you name? Ask me. I'm Rick. Eric. Rick. 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 Just Rick. Without E. Eric without E and Eric. All right. Listen, listen, George. Um, I I believe your story. George. <laughs> Who's George? Man? I believe your story. I believe you. I believe him. Uh, him. But like I said, my policy. It's simple. I see a geared guy with okay, a gun in his hands. Say you will not drop me when I put my weapon away. No. I'm back. What's on the door, man? No, just punch the door so I know we have fists. All right, come in. 
And close the door behind you. Alright, alright, we're good. See? We're all friendly here. That's all good. Yeah, it looks like it for now. Alright, well, so... I'm looking for I'm a trade. Told. Yo, Bill, shut up. I'm looking for a trade. I'm looking for a PU scope. Any one of you has one? No, man. Alright, ladies. Well, it was nice to meet you, but I gotta go my own way now. Um, good luck building your base. I'll uh, pay you a visit later on, yeah? Psst. A quick word from today's sponsor. So, if you're still looking for DayZ servers to play on, I have another great one for you. Welcome to the Crowds server, which aims mostly towards a DayZ vanilla experience. They have a first-person Cherneris server within the Mausk mod. You spawn in with the radio, and the official server frequency where survivors talk with each other is 102.5. They also have a safe zone where survivors can trade items with each other. Also, the servers are pretty cold, and hardcore. I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy this server, so give it a go guys. The IPs are gonna be on the screen and in the video description. Yeah, there's a guy in the forest. I like this guy's camo. In the end, only style matters. Yeah, I guess you're right. Creations, thank you for the follow and noisy. No, I killed him. Oh, Topito, you fucking, you fucking legend, Topito.
There's three of them, by the way. That was a headshot, by the way. After wiping this entire squad, I had so much loot on me that I didn't really know what to do with it. So I came up with an idea to go back to the summer camp near Green Mountain and hope to meet the guys from the very beginning and give them most of that stuff as an apology for not the best start of the relationship. Nick, are you here? Hello? Nick? Nick? Hello? Is that There's you? Detlef here. Is that you? Nick? No, not Nick, Detlef. Who? Detlef. Who? Detlef! Alright, uh, Derek, listen up. Where is Rick? What's up? I don't know. You know him? I don't know. What do you mean? It's his base. So do you know him or not? Um, Andy uh, brought me here. Who? Andy. Andy? Who the fuck is Andy? Andy. I only know Eric, Nick and so, Rick. I don't have a gun in my hand. Yesterday, um, we started off from the wrong foot. We, uh, we had a little fight. Um, I ended up holding your friend up over there in that shed. Uh, the situation was very tense. Then a random guy called Albert arrived and he said that he wants to save him because he met him before. And then I let him in and then we all three had a, had a chat and then we all like got into this base. And then I had to leave but they both stayed inside. And since I I kind of acted like an asshole yesterday, I want to uh, compensate that. All right, so this is what I use. That's another one. And this is what I brought for uh, Charlie. That. And that. I literally have That's zero stamina. Have gift. Just drop it, um, and I. I take it inside. Okay. But, uh, sorry, bro. This is not my base. Um, I'm not allowed to open the door. All right. No. Let's let's make a deal. I'm gonna drop it here at the door. Yeah. Yeah. Drop it. Okay. I think that's it. I'm gonna go. Like I'm gonna go right here so you can open the door. Can I? Yeah, come in. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, what's up? Natürlich. I decided to leave, and I was gonna meet my friend Lady Adventure. Then, we met another really interesting character. A guy named Pablo significantly helped us with our little war. To a right with a flare.
Hello, hello. Hey, my friends. I'm going to die. Please, I need food. Okay. Please, please. Help me. Help me, please. Help me. You have to oh, defrost. I'm going to die. You have to defrost this. Oh. I, I, I don't have nothing to, to do a fire. You can check my body. Please, I need help. Dude, you literally just dropped the flare in that house. Yeah, yeah, but I don't have... Uh, I lose the things that you attach your... Your... Heridas. I don't know how to say in English. Come, come, come. What's your name? Hey, my name, my name is Pablo. And your name? Have you got a base or something like that? Nah, we just have casual sex every now and then. <laughs> I know that you are good people. You don't kill me, and you see me like <laughs> in that in that conditions and don't kill me. So maybe if we got a good relation, we can share the base with you. You know? Where is your base? <laughs> I don't know if I want to say to you because you are very armored. You well, are you are full gear, so you can maybe raid uh, it. No, I don't want to raid your base. I I have enemies I want to raid, not you. We can Team share up. your enemies and kill him. Team up, yeah. Yeah, sure. Player. To our oh, right, to our right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I trusted you. He's got good loot. That's Pablito. Pablito! See the guy? Did you just get shot at? Uh, yes, he tried to kill me, but he don't... Where was don't he? Where, where so, was he? Uh, in that direction. Okay. He was in the top of the hill of the direction. I think he's going... Uh, he was rushing me, so he's have to be in that direction. I, w I was saying to you that... <laughs> Let's go! Yep. Probably his friend with a gun, the guy that we killed before. They will... Oh! Whoa! Yeah, that's him, that's that him. That was close. He was near. I hit him, he was unconscious. Let's push him, push him. Oh! He's dead. He's dead. Where? Did you really kill that guy from there? 
Yeah, dude. Oh my god. You're crazy. At this point, we had enough allies and manpower, and we decided to raid. Me, Pablito, and Lady Adventure decided to go and grab the boys from the crack house. Doink! 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 <laughs> Later on, just like Pablito promised, he took us to his little base. And from that moment, that place was our stash. We took everything we could, all the ammo, all the guns, all the grenades, and we went back to the crack house to regroup. Once everything was ready, we started the raid. We knew they had a base in Sosnovka. In the first five minutes, we managed to break through half of the gates. But unfortunately, the supermarket campers, somehow every time we tried to raid, were either in the base or right outside waiting for us. Now, you might be thinking, why do you guys call them the supermarket campers? Well, here's just one of many clips to give you an idea what those guys were doing pretty much every day. The first failure didn't stop us. It was time to resupply. The next few days, I was hunting for squads and I was taking all the loot to our little stash in Pablito's base. Fuck! I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. Oh, I got him. He's dead. Many shotgun shells on him. He's dead. That was the last one. A few days later, I was running through Kozlovka and I heard shots coming from Bor direction. Bor was a little town close to Zelenogorsk where we had our stash, so I had to go and check it out. Where did he come from? Shit. I gotta go. Hello?
Holy crap. And as per usual, I took all the gear that I could and I wanted to stash it in our little base. And it was when I found out that somebody tried to raid it. So I had to fix it really quick. Pablito's base was raided. Once our base was secured again, something very unexpected happened. Something that we love DayZ for so much. I met a huge random group that decided to help us with the raid. We've gathered all the loot and all the allies we had. And it was time to finish what we started. It wasn't about the loot anymore. It was personal. We really wanted to get rid of the campers from Zelenogorsk. And in order to do that, we needed to destroy their safe place. We spent hours, days, weeks killing squads, gathering the loot, stashing it in the base. And it turned out that the base we were struggling with for so long had basically no loot inside. But like I said before, it wasn't about the loot, it was about the satisfaction and griefing the base of the campers. Yes, that was Minder. He wasn't helping. Once they didn't have their safe place anymore, we stopped seeing them in the town. Was it a waste of time? Definitely not. It felt amazing. We may have lost a lot of battles, but at the end, it was us who won the war. And speaking of wars, it wasn't over yet. We were only done with the supermarket campers. But me and Lady Adventure, we still had our one little war. But that's gonna be in the next video. I truly hope you enjoyed this little production. And if you did, please leave a like, drop a comment what you think about it, and perhaps consider a subscription. Also, if you want to see all this action happen live, make sure to visit my Twitch channel, twitchtv.com slash toteprek. I would really like to see you come and say hi. Thank you so much once again for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Make sure to keep watching. It's still not the end. Hello? 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 Anybody home? Hello? Sure! Hey, hey, hey. Who's there? Eric! What, Eric? Who's Eric? Yeah, shut the fuck up, man. My name is Andy. I'm the owner of this building.